G'day everybody, welcome back. Hope you're having a great day or a nice night. I'm outside in my yard and I'm just going to show you what I've been, why I've been <laughs> a bit slow and slack getting the videos out lately. I've been a bit busy in the garden. You'll see how dry our lawn is at the moment too. You can see how we need some rain. We've been busy digging up our old veggie patch. It's an area, I'll try and show you how big it is. <laughs> it's an area about five by seven meters, roughly to give you an idea. And we've been busy pulling out rocks and roots and there used to be a grevillea tree here as well that we've um, dug out over the weekend. So we've managed to clear out most of the rubble and this morning I'm actually getting a delivery of garden soil mixed in with manure from a local nursery in our area to hopefully help enrich the soil before we plant some vegetables. The soil is really dry at the moment it's really hard to probably grow anything in it currently you'll see so it needs definitely enriching here's my friend the maggie how you going maggie I'm camera shy today <laughs> so yeah that's um this is the garden before and oh i have to show you something else here too which is also a little bit of a worry <laughs> yesterday we were standing looking as you do at the the blank canvas of the garden and we looked down at our feet and we noticed you'll see here can you see a wavy mark through the soil any guesses what would leave a mark like that <laughs> so we think there's been a big snake sliver over the top of our garden patch <laughs> And we couldn't find the snake, not that we really tried looking hard. So yes, there's a big snake around somewhere as well. The joys of living in Australia. So anyway, just a little garden update for you all. <laughs> just thought I'd show the before with the garden and I'll give you some more updates as well if you like. Let me know if you're interested to see how I go with my garden. My vision for the garden is to make a beautiful big expanse of wildflowers and herbs, um, flowers for the bees. I also want to plant uh, some tomatoes and capsicum. I'm thinking maybe some cucumbers for summer as well. In years gone past, I've grown all sorts of things and had some really wonderful veggies growing. But with the weather so hot and dry at the moment, I'm not going to get too far ahead of myself. <laughs> well, I'm trying not to. And just keep it simple with some herbs, maybe a bit of lettuce, tomato. Yeah, like I said before, capsicums, cucumbers, that sort of thing. Uh, maybe even some radish. Let me know if you've got any different ideas what grows good in southeast Queensland at the moment in the hot, dry summer conditions we're coming into i'm lucky that we've got access to bore water so it will be irrigated from underground water how cool is that it smells like a bit like manure <laughs> which is probably a good sign this is what it looks like so it's quite um quite good <laughs> so this is it, the in-between stage with piles of garden mix and I'll give you an update later on once we've leveled it all out and dug it through and it's basically ready to plant this garden mix is what the nursery people told me so I'll yeah be able to hopefully get some plants in and seedlings started pretty quick morning everybody just a garden update we got the two piles of garden mix or the soil that we had delivered yesterday 
spread out and we managed to form we've done it as three garden beds I'll see if I can show you all it's a bit like a, a giant T <laughs> so the path is up the middle and then it splits so I've got one bed here which I think I might use for things like lettuce and silver beet at this stage and then I've got a second bed over here which is a little bit bigger which I'm thinking maybe for tomatoes capsicums maybe even some sweet corn I'm not sure I don't know if I've got enough room <laughs> might be getting too ambitious but the main bed that I'm excited about is this one at the top which is quite long starts over there and it goes all the way over to there and it's about oh it's just over a meter and a meter and a quarter wide I think we've managed to raise the level of the soil quite a bit with what was uh, delivered yesterday so this one at the back is where I'm going to turn into my bee flower garden it's going to be full of edible flowers and herbs and things for the bees that's my plan anyway <laughs> we'll see if it comes to fruition so yeah that's an update as of uh, day three we've still got to on the corner here we had some big I think they're like besser bricks we call them here in Australia kicking around that we could use on the corner the garden's actually on a little bit of a slope so when it does rain let's hope soon <laughs> we don't want all the soil to wash away down the hill so I've started to build just a bit on the corner there but we will have to also find some other we've got some rocks that we've got access to as well so I might be able to use some big rocks on the bottom side of the garden beds as well and on the top side my husband's actually dug out a bit of a you'll see here a bit of a trench so he's going to put some rocks along the top as well So that's where we're up to now with about day three of the garden. And that's not a snake over there, don't worry. That's just the garden hose. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's where we're up to at the moment. Hopefully, we're hoping that we might get some rain today. They're predicting some rain. It's Thursday here in Australia, so we're, they're predicting rain Thursday and Friday where we live. So fingers crossed we might get some rain. We're going to wait for the soil to settle for a couple of days and um, yeah then start planting. I've already got some seeds so I should be able to do a mass uh, planting of seeds on the top garden bed really easily. So I'll give you an update once I do that. Hey everybody just an update on the garden. It's coming along pretty good. My husband's been working really hard and the kids have been helping too. We've been putting rocks we've got access to these nice big rocks where we live on the property and has been putting rocks around the outside of the garden beds we're just using what we've got rather than go out and buy extra materials that we can't afford so we're just using the big rocks as a border to try and help the soil not wash wash away down the hill so we've managed to do most of the big flower garden bed and also the two smaller beds in front and we've also put in these star pickets as well we need to finish the rocks today and water again just to get the soil ready in preparation of me planting I'm going to hopefully plant in the next two days the flower bed with all the herbs and bee flowers and then we'll look at what we can plant in the other two garden beds as well. It's coming up to being dark here, but I thought I'd quickly come out and show you the progress in the garden. It's coming together really good. We've got a, a bit of a makeshift gate that we've put together from stuff that we've got lying around. 
and we've managed to recycle some wire, some chain mesh type wire to keep all the critters out. It's mostly going to be hares and kangaroos that we've got to worry about. Maybe some bush rats and possums as well. And you'll see my husband has been really good and put all uh, bush rocks around the outside of the three garden beds, which is fantastic. And you'll see in the centre he's rigged up two posts so we can put the hose with a sprinkler on the end and we can just move them between the two posts and it manages to water irrigate all three garden beds which is really helpful garden tour <laughs> this first garden bed here i'm going to put cucumbers in the corner there and hopefully a couple different types of lettuce and maybe some silver beet or spinach on this corner as well i'm thinking and in this other garden bed probably some tomatoes and capsicum or peppers as you call it in the US most likely I'm not fully decided upon everything in this garden bed but the main one that I'm really excited about is this big long one on top which I'm going to do full of herbs and flowers uh, it's going to be a combination of a bit like a, a cottage garden cross with like a meadow hopefully is the effect I'm going for. So I've put in a whole heap of seeds on Monday. I planted under, I actually sort of follow the phases of the moon with um, gardening. So it was a favourable time to plant the seeds on Monday evening. So I put in a whole heap of flower seeds. And along with this, I also added in, I've got marigold seeds and calendula seeds that I save. I'm a, a seed saver with all the seeds I've grown previous years. So I added some extra flower seeds that I'd saved. Uh, also some extra things like chives. Uh, there was some rocket seeds I think I put in as well. So a few different things. So hopefully, um, we've been watering now, must be almost coming up to a week. So hopefully within the next couple of days, we'll see some little seedlings come out of the ground. <laughs> so that'll be exciting. So that's where we're at at the moment with the veggie garden. So I hope to plant some seeds and the bottom two garden beds for the vegetables in the next little while, probably in the next week or two. So that'll be exciting. But yeah, I think we've done pretty good progress and um, hopefully we'll see some flower seedlings emerge very shortly. Thanks everybody for watching. And until next time, take care.